Hello everyone. Well, it's been over three years since I first featured this Hot Point dishwasher, kindly donated to me by AO.com. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to give you an update of the machine. And at the same time, I'm going to give it a bit of a spruce up, clean the filters, put in new salt and rinse aid, and generally give you my thoughts after three years of regular use. I already had a dishwasher when AO.com offered me this hot point to review, but I knew that my mum was in line for a new dishwasher fairly soon, so I accepted AO's kind offer and gifted this hot point to my mum, which is why it's in a different kitchen to the kitchen you initially saw it in when I did my review three years ago. So I'm just going to have a look inside. It's starting to look a bit grubby, so I'm going to do a maintenance wash on this machine, as well as topping up all the things we need to top up in a dishwasher, the rinse aid and the salt, etc. First thing to do, I'm going to remove the basket, the lower basket, and have a look at the filter, see if that needs a clean. The filter is located in the bottom of the machine and it's designed to trap any food debris or anything that could get caught in the pump and cause damage. It's important to keep this filter clean. I would recommend at least once a month you take it out and clean it in some hot soapy water. To remove this filter, we just have to untwist the central part. And this is the fine mesh. And there's also a basket there to trap any food debris. My mum is pretty good at keeping her filters clean. So this doesn't need much, but I will give this a wash. Under the mesh filter, We've also got this stainless steel one, which can come out and that can be cleaned in hot soapy water. Before I actually clean the filters, I'm going to run a maintenance program with a dishwasher cleaner. Now I'm just going to use this finish one. Obviously there are other dishwasher cleaners available and you can also use natural products. I believe white vinegar is quite a good thing to use if you want to give your dishwasher a clean. On the whole, dishwashers are self-cleaning because most of the internal cabinets are made of stainless steel, but there are areas in the dishwasher that can often get grubby after a few months' use. The main areas are around the seals, and especially at the bottom here, there is a line of dirt that can't be cleaned when the dishwasher's on. That has to be manually cleaned off. Before I run the maintenance program, I'm just going to pop the lower basket back in the machine and we need to place this dishwasher cleaner inside the lower basket. So the first thing we need to do, there's a little sticker on the top. Just peel that off. Don't remove the top. You only remove the sticker because what happens when the dishwasher reaches the correct temperature, this substance here that's bunging up the hole will melt and allow the dishwasher cleaner into the machine to do the cleaning. So I'm going to put this dishwasher cleaner in the bottom basket with the blue cap facing down. You need to run the dishwasher empty and select a program of at least 65 degrees. So on this particular dishwasher, that's program two. So we'll just select program two and press start. The dishwasher has finished its cycle. So let's have a look at the results. Just to remove the dishwasher cleaner bottle. Ah, oh, well, it hasn't coped and I didn't think it would. As I suspected, it's not made any difference to the line of gunk at the bottom of the dishwasher where the door seal is. But I wasn't really expecting it to have done that, so I'm going to have to manually clean that. And I don't suppose it's made any difference to the filter. No, I didn't think it would. That does need manually cleaning. And there's still some gunk around the mesh filter. So all this is still going to have to be cleaned. You still have to do this even if you use a dishwasher cleaner every month to keep the internals of the dishwasher clean and grease free. You still have to deal with the built up grease and dirt and food debris that gathers especially around the seals of the dishwasher. To clean the grease and grime at the bottom of the door, I'm just going to use some 
regular spray kitchen cleaner. Plenty of it. Normally I'd use an old washing up brush for this purpose or if you've got a steam cleaner you could use your steam cleaner. Now this isn't my dishwasher as I said earlier, I'm not at home and I can't find any old washing up brushes so I'm having to make do with this old sponge which is still working very easily actually. <laughs> there you go, it's getting rid of all that grime. A lot of people say, well what's the point in cleaning a dishwasher? But, well you don't have to I suppose. <laughs> You don't have to do anything, you could just let the filth build up if that's what you want to do, but personally I like to clean it out. I'm not obsessive over it, but I do like to keep my appliances clean because I think they perform better if you keep them well maintained and they maintain their looks because these things aren't cheap and the longer you can keep your appliances running the better. So you can use this system of cleaning a sponge, a cloth or an old washing up brush just to go around the seals. This is where it will gather at the bottom and the seals around the door as well. You can give them a wipe. Now what I really should have done <laughs> is done this and then ran through the maintenance cycle but I wanted to see if that finished dishwasher cleaner actually made any difference to that line of dirt and it didn't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish cleaning all this off, all around the door seal, take out the filters and wash them, and then I'm going to run the dishwasher one more time, but this time I'm going to use Hot Point's dishwasher clean program that's designed to be used from time to time to help clean out the dishwasher. I've cleaned the filters and I also selected a rinse and hold program to remove all the loosened dirt that I removed earlier. Next job to do is to top up the salt container. This dishwasher doesn't get filled with salt as my mum uses the three in one tablets and she feels you don't need to add salt but I always add salt and no matter what tablets I'm using I always use salt and rinse aid as well especially in hard water areas the salt will soften the water and it just makes the detergent more effective. So in my opinion, you really should add salt to the dishwasher no matter what detergent you're using. If your dishwasher has a salt container, it should have been supplied with a funnel, but unfortunately I can't locate the one for this dishwasher, so I'm having to try and fill it without. You'll see that water is dispersed when you fill it with salt, that's quite normal. If you spill any salt, rinse it away with a jug of water and then firmly replace the cap. Just like salt, rinse aid is seldom added to this dishwasher, so I'm going to fill up the rinse aid reservoir now. It's just here next to the detergent container, so just open it up and then carefully pour in the rinse aid until it gets to the maximum fill line. Normally dishwashers will have an indicator to show you when to replace the rinse aid. As this one's empty it might take a while. There we go, that's full now. I've spilled over a little bit but that doesn't matter. And make sure it's securely closed before closing the dishwasher door. If you spill any of the rinse aid, wipe it away with a cloth. Well that's the end of my follow up video on this Hot Point dishwasher. I would still recommend it if you can still buy this particular model. It's performed very well throughout the three years my mother has been using it and now I've given it a bit of a spruce up, filled it with salt and rinse aid. It should go on washing very well for years to come, fingers crossed. If you have any comments or questions about this Hot Point dishwasher or dishwashers in general, I'll try and answer your questions. Please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.